Boston Children's Hospital's Browdy Garden is set to be demolished next year. The end of the open aid space for patients, staff, and families is making some folks quite unhappy. Just like Liz Watson, whose daughter was at the hospital for four years. She often was confined to her room and the only way she could actually go out was to go out into the fresh air in, into the garden. They were some of our experiences in the garden which are totally irreplaceable. Although the hospital urged his staff not to talk to the media or protest, some came out to take a stand. I've worked at the hospital for about 36 years and I've seen how much enjoyment it brings to parents and children. I mean it's just a really unbelievable open area that's uh, nothing like it around here. Everything around here is brick and cement. The Prouty Garden, unlike some of the other small and harder to access green areas, is a half acre and easily accessible. The single most healing part of Children's Hospital. Beecher Grogan should know, as her family was at the garden often during her daughter's leukemia fight. She lived for that garden. She literally lived for it. I could get her out of bed after bone marrow transplant because we were going to go have a picnic in the garden. The hospital, who were unavailable for comment, pledged to put 25% more green space around the campus for patients. But Grogan is unconvinced. These are some of the ch sickest children in the world are here, and some children live their whole entire life at Children's Hospital. They should be allowed space outside. More demonstrations are set to take place, and Grogan has even threatened to chain herself to a tree in the garden to save the space. Reporting for Emerson College, I'm Joe Jacobs.